So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to chat about the upcoming foot birthday promotion and some potential cards we could see coming in the next few weeks or so. Now, the foot birthday promotion normally starts around the end of March, start of April time and in previous FIFAs we've seen EA put out tournaments, kits, new cards and more recently new SBCs for this promotion. In FIFA 15 we got free packs, a tournament and some pack offers. In FIFA 16 we got all that and a bunch of position change players were released which at the time was really cool because we got players like Ronaldo, Bale, Hulk and Sanchez as strikers and we also got a CDM David Alaba. And then last year in FIFA 17 they went pretty SBC mad with it because obviously FIFA 17 was the first year we had SBCs. So they did daily ones and depending on how many you completed you actually got a pretty good reward at the end of the week. They also did some play uh, premium player SBCs on top of that and they also released a bunch of players who were given foot birthday cards and the stats on them cards were actually based around a retro version of said card. And honestly, I think this is one of the best promotions EA have ever done. They picked out players who were either really good or overpowered in a previous FIFA and they gave them a boost on the current game and I just think as a whole it's a fun little promotion idea. And with all that in mind, I'm hoping they do a similar thing this year. So, in this video today, we're going to discuss some potential foot birthday cards for FIFA 18 and hopefully we might see some of them in a few weeks time. But, I do want to stress, this is purely a prediction. EA could do things a lot differently this year for the foot birthday promo. Anyway, in this video today, I've got about 15 to 20 players to discuss with you. All of these players performed incredibly well in previous FIFAs, and it would be great to see them get a boosted card in FIFA 18. And you'll notice that a lot of the cards that feature in today's video are actually from FIFA 13, as that was probably my favourite ultimate team so far. In the comments below, let me know which year of ultimate team was your favourite. Okay, so the first player that I'd like to see get a retro card is an obvious one and I'm sure about 99.9% .9 of you are going to agree with this. Centre forward Royce. In FIFA 13 this card was awesome and back in FIFA 13 the partnership of striker Royce and S Fine was literally the best attack you could buy for most of the game. Them cards were so good and if they gave us a central Royce card in FIFA 18 and they gave it a decent boost especially on the stamina that would be a pretty awesome card. Next up is another Bundesliga player, David Alaba. Now, I just want to see a position change. I would like to see either a CDM David Alaba or a CDM David Alaba. That would be pretty awesome because he's got such a well-rounded card that he can fit into most positions. He's had centre-back cards in the past. He's also had CDM cards in the past. So, you know, yeah, make it happen. I have another centre-back card for you next, Coyote. Check you, Coyote. Now, I was using this guy throughout FIFA 13 and I'm not just saying that if you go to my really old videos on the channel you'll see that I actually use Coyote a lot I used to love OP Silvers back then and having an 83 pace centre back in your 352 backline in FIFA 13 was pretty damn overpowered in that year he also got a team of the season card and that card was pretty mad as well so um yeah a centre back Coyote in FIFA 18 yes please now, in more recent FIFAs, Jack Butland's been the goalkeeper that you want to avoid coming up against because he is just a nightmare to play against. But back in FIFA 13, the man you didn't want to match up against was Marchetti. He just saved everything. The reflexes were mad and you just knew you were going to have a tougher time scoring with this guy in the opposition's net. Massio Azevedo. Now, I really don't need to say much about this one. If you know, you know. It's as simple as that. When silvers were good, this guy was a god. And if you didn't know, 5 star skills and that shooting stat on his card is a lie because his long shots were actually ridiculously good. In previous FIFAs, Brazilian silvers used to be the thing. They were so fun to use. You had players like Jobson, Wallison, um, Mike Onlieta, Danilo. They were so freaking fun to use. I wish silvers still had that effect on Ultimate Team. Staying with silver cards, Danny Noinku in FIFA 14 was pretty mad. He was fast, strong, tall, had medium high work rates and in game, honestly, he performed better than a lot of goal centre backs. This card was awesome. Back on to FIFA 13 now, Rodrigo Palacio was 
he was insane. He was really good in FIFA 14 too, but in FIFA 13 especially, he was incredibly overpowered in my opinion. He was perfect in that right forward or right wing role, and he just used to score for fun. His stats for anointing form were pretty impressive. Staying in FIFA 13, Lucas Podolski. Look at those stats for an 83 rated non in form. What a card. His long shots and shot power were amazing. The left foot on this card was outstanding. Previously in this video, I mentioned Royce, and what a lot of people used to do, including myself in FIFA 13, was have a 3-5-2 team, and the striker and, and Cam would be S. Fine, Royce, and Podolski, and that attacking line could literally rival any attack in that game. Mika Richards is currently a silver centre-back in FIFA 18, but in previous FIFAs, he was actually one of the best fullbacks you could buy and was incredibly popular in ultimate teams from FIFA 12 to FIFA 14 due to him having decent pace, good defending and very good strength. Rodrigo is the first non-rare to make my list and back in FIFA 13 you'd have this guy up front with either Adrian who was another non-rare Spanish striker or Jackson Martinez and they would be so good together. Talking of Jackson Martinez, he probably would have featured in this video, in fact he would have if he was still in Ultimate Team, but he's not, and thus hasn't made the cut. But, um, yeah, I'm sure you all remember Jackson Martinez, because his cards were very good as well. And now we come on to a player who wasn't overpowered, he was just really good. Wayne Rooney, who could be played anywhere from centre mid to striker. You probably could have used him at CDM if you really wanted to, and he just did a really good job wherever he was played. At 31, or I think he might be 32 now, he's currently in the twilight of his career, and a retro card would be pretty nice. I feel that would be fitting. Lloyd Kremi is next, and damn, this card was insane. And back in FIFA 13, Aubameyang was a striker at Saint Etienne. So as you can imagine, nearly every League One team was led by Aubameyang and Remy. Both had over 90 pace, and in FIFA 13, they just ran riot. And I remember using this Remy card a lot, because back in FIFA 13, it was all about the pace. German legend Bastian Schweinsteiger has been in Ultimate Team since it started, and up until about, let's say, FIFA 16, he always had a pretty good card. For me, I think his best cards were in FIFA 13 and FIFA 14, and I think it was in FIFA 13 that he got a Team of the Season card, and the long shots on that card were, um, they were pretty insane. He also got um, a World Cup Man of the Match, in the next FIFA, uh, FIFA 14, and that card was really good too. And now we come on to a player that I don't think too many people will have thought of, but those who do remember him know how good he was. Stefan Sessignon, back in the day, he had a great card in Ultimate Team. 4-star skills and 5-star weak foot as well, which is a pretty good bonus. And this inform card, it was mad. The non-inform was good, but this inform was brilliant and he was just a great pacey cam and he fit the playstyle of FIFA 13 perfectly. How good was Yaya Toure in FIFA 13? For me, he was the best centre mid on the game. So complete, strong, quick for a midfielder, solid defensively, great at passing and his long shots were just mad. This card was awesome and I don't think I need to elaborate, I think everyone will agree. In FIFA 13, Toure was mad. It's a shame his cards aren't that good anymore. They're still pretty good, don't get me wrong, but um, they don't perform as well as they did back then. From Man City to Man United, and we have Van Persie. He's had a few decent cards on Ultimate Team over the years. I used him a little in FIFA 12, but not too much. But it was in FIFA 13 where I started using him more often. And I actually didn't play him as a striker. I actually played him as a cam, and I felt he was really, really good there. Just like Wayne Rooney, he's in the twilight of his career now, and um, a retro card would be pretty awesome. Former Arsenal man Theo Walcott used to have a striker card, and at the time, there was a lot of hype around it because, you know, a 96 paced inform striker had appeared on the game. But um, performance wise, it wasn't amazing, it was alright, but nothing spectacular. But just for, you know, the retro feels, it would be nice to have a striker Walcott in foot, you know, just for the novelty. And now we come on to the final cards of the video and we're going to talk about Julian Draxler because this is another one of them cards which I don't need to go into depth on too much because everyone knows in FIFA 14 he was the best cam on the game. In game his shooting was ridiculous and much better than that 78 shooting suggests. The 5 star weak foot was a huge bonus, he was quick and great on the ball and as a whole 
Honestly, I think it's one of the most overpowered cards ever on Ultimate Team. So guys, if you were where to do the retro foot birthday cards again, which players would you like to see feature in that promo? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, we're coming to the end of the video now. I hope you've enjoyed it because I really enjoyed making this video because I do like looking back at the old FIFAs, especially FIFA 13 and FIFA 15 because in my opinion, they were the best two years of Ultimate Team. Anyway, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.